The globular amphora culture, which thrived from around 3400 to 2800 BCE, is named after its distinctive pottery, large, round vessels with bulging, globular bodies and intricate decorative patterns. This culture was primarily located in Central and Eastern Europe, covering regions that are now parts of Poland, Germany, and Ukraine. The globular amphora culture is particularly known for its burial practices, where large stone-lined graves often contained multiple burials, including human and animal remains. The people of globular amphora culture practiced both pastoralism and agriculture. The culture is often associated with the so-called Danubian cultures and is considered to have played a crucial role in the Neolithic and early Bronze Age transition in Europe. The genetics of globular amphora culture samples show they descend mostly from the early European farmers, with a significant amount of admixture from indigenous hunter-gatherers of northern and central Europe. The globular amphora culture contributed to the formation of the corded ware culture through mixing with western steppe herders and later became a crucial component in the genetics of Indo-European peoples, although globular amphora peoples themselves did not speak Indo-European languages. For this video, I collected 23 academic samples from the globular amphora culture and ran them through my trait predictor tool. Let's get right into their results. The most common predicted phenotype among the globular amphora samples was Nordic, followed by Mediterranean, and lastly Alpinate. There were no other phenotypes observed. The most common predicted eye color among the globular amphora samples was blue, and not a single sample scored brown or dark brown eye color. In this regard, the globular amphora population are lighter than any other population to have ever lived on the planet. The most common hair color among the globular amphora samples observed was dark blonde. Globular amphorin samples ranged in hair color from dark blonde to black. No sample scored light blonde as their predicted hair color. The most common skin color among the globular amphora samples was white, with a sizable minority of samples scoring palest and a sizable minority also scoring olive skin tone. The most common hair texture among the globular amphora was straight, although wavy and curly hair was also quite common. One of the samples was predicted to have kinky hair. The most common nose shape among the globular amphora culture was a Greek, aquiline, long, and narrow nose shape. Overall, the globular amphora score similarly to Northern Europeans in terms of phenotype, but lack the darker phenotypical elements often present in Germanic and Celtic Northern Europeans. Regarding their dopaminergic profile, the globular amphorans are typical Europeans, with predispositions to worrier phenotype and fewer D2 receptor sites. Such a dopaminergic profile predisposes the globular amphorans to be less tolerant to stress and more predisposed to conditions such as ADHD. In theory, the reduced number of D2 sites would protect the globular amphora from bipolar type 1 and schizophrenia, but they score roughly average for these conditions with my trait predictor. The globular amphorans are surprisingly not very predisposed to autism, especially in comparison with the Yamian samples observed previously. The globular amphorans as a whole were predisposed to a higher level of empathy, and only one of the 23 globular amphorans was predicted to be possibly lactase persistent. Regarding risks of autoimmune disorders, alleles for increased odds of ankylosing spondylitis were greatly overrepresented among the globular amphora samples studied. Especially in comparison with the European average, globular amphora scored mostly low risk for autoimmune conditions in the HLA gene, similar to the Yamnaeans, and very low risk for multiple sclerosis. Surprisingly so, because modern Northern Europeans score high for the risk of multiple sclerosis. Like the Yamnaeans, the globular amphora also scored elevated risks for rheumatoid arthritis and type 1 diabetes, which are autoimmune conditions that Europeans are known to suffer from. The globular amphora had a certain predisposition to epithelial cancers, more so than the Yamnaea. The globular amphora had a very healthy lipids profile and predispositions to lower levels of LDL cholesterol, especially in comparison with the Yamnaea. On the other hand, in regards to their vitamin D levels, the globular amphora were generally predisposed to lower levels of vitamin D. Surprisingly, the most common blood type among the globular amphora was A and not O, which is the most common blood group worldwide. Only three individuals were predicted to belong to B blood group. There weren't any individuals with AB blood group. If you enjoyed this video, 
consider leaving a like and a comment with whatever you found insightful. Check the description, which contains research information relevant to this video.